Hello watchers, it's me Jasper. I been had a pretty decent day comparable to what's been going on uh, recently. Uh, if you've been following along, uh, you find out recently, you know, I got a, a new fish tank for my son's 7 inch Oscar, which is in his original 10 gallon tank uh, ever since he was brought home from the store at you know maybe an inch long uh, and the other day I acquired a used 50 gallon tank well, actually two of them but one was cracked and the one started leaking luckily I was able to catch it and drain all the water out and you know, it was a pretty big disaster. Uh, luckily, the tank wasn't cracked, though. So I was able to clean it up, uh, remove all the silicone. Right now, I just resealed it. So it should be good as gold now. Um, i got to wait two days to let everything cure uh, before I attempt to add any water. And I'm hoping this is going to work. Uh, it's not the first time I've resealed a tank. Nothing this big usually when I reseal it. It was just another 10 gallon. I had to use my hands. My, I got some silicone in my hands. Dang. Uh, the front of the silicone uh, tube was gummed up or something. It was a brand new tube or something. And as soon as I pushed the plunger in it, didn't push anything out. It just made a big old mess. So I had to use my fingers to apply it. Um, so I'm real excited about that, you know. The tank wasn't busted, I was able to fix it, so I got the silicone to get it fixed, and it's applied. I just gotta bide my time now for another two days, and hopefully by this weekend, Oscar, Oscar the Oscar, will be in his new home. I'm really excited to see how he, he uh, is going to enjoy living in a bigger tank. Um cooking dinner right now I mean I am super hungry uh, I've only been home for maybe 30 40 minutes um because I was I'm gonna get to that why but I got bratwurst and potatoes and onions cooking and it smells so good no someone needs to invent smell -o vision bottom line someone needs to invent it but I think I figured out a way of what I'm gonna do for the next few months um, as I said uh, I'm losing my my home and I'm gonna have to move so I, I think I figured out a plan I just gotta take an action and see if it'll work and I'm pretty sure I mean it sucks everything sucks but it'll get me by until I'm firmly planted on my feet again so you know I've, I've been thinking about it I don't like to think about it but I you know I've been thinking about it what I'm gonna do um, and something happened today that has definitely made me feel better about what's going on and helped me boost my ego a little you know or not my ego but my self-esteem uh, and helped me believe that that this plan is gonna help me help me get back on my feet um, so I can be the person that I used to be now what happened today I got a new car yes I finally got a new car after I think it's been about a month and a half now that I've been without a any kind of my own mode of transportation besides my own two feet uh, I picked it up today, paid $700 for it. It's not too bad. Uh, it's a little dirty. Uh, there's only one spot of rust that that I noticed. Uh, it's a 99 Malibu. It actually, it's a year newer than my last car. It actually has the same engine and transmission set up. You know, the interior is a little bit different just because it's a Pontiac and, and this is a Chevy. Um, but it's almost, almost, the same 
um, I mean, this one actually had power seats, you know, which was cool. I was like, because my last car, I mean, it wasn't a big necessity, but it's cool. You know, this one has power seats. Um, this car actually came with a key fob. My other car originally had a key fob, but the owners lost it or the, someone lost it, you know. So, I mean, that's, that's not a big deal, but, you know, they're definitely convenient. Um... You know, I'm I'm excited. I have a new car again. You know, I drove it. It does need brake work. It feels like one of the calipers might be sticking. It's not a big deal. Um, probably not this week. Maybe next week, depending on the weather, the temperature. You know, I'll I'll look into these calipers. You know, pull them apart. You know, lube them up. You know, give them a good once through. See what see what the uh, brake pads are and all that. See if that helps anything. Um. Other than that, it seemed to run fine. Uh, it had a sunroof, you know, like my last car. It. The only other thing is that I have to look into the trunk. You can open the trunk with a key, but it has an electric uh, trunk button. It didn't want to work. It also, the key fob didn't work to, to open the trunk. So I don't know if there's a sensor disconnected. I'll look into that. It's not a big deal. As long as I can get the trunk open, which which I can. Um, but like I said, seven hundred bucks, and it's in for being um, was that eighteen years old. It's in pretty damn good condition. Like I said, I'll, I'll I'm gonna do the general maintenance on it. It needs an oil change. Uh, I'll check the transmission whenever I actually get the car warmed up and back on the road just to see how that is um but yeah you know it it has the same engine as my last car and then this one actually gets up and goes it has a little bit extra features um i and i i'm i'm ecstatic because within two weeks i won't have to ask people for for rides anywhere and god thank everybody that's helped me you know in the last few months especially you know with with giving rides or anything like that but i i hate having to ask for a ride when i know i'm more than capable of doing it myself but just because of the circumstances situation you know i had to reach out and swallow my pride which is fine i mean life is what it is and i'm falling down or i fell down and i'm doing my absolute hardest to get back up and it is hard it is insanely hard um and i'm not going to give up i'm not going to give up for myself and i'm definitely not going to give up for the boys i mean if it wasn't for them it probably wouldn't be hitting me as hard but i have to do it for them they they need this more than i do so i mean just having a car just changes the game so much um, I'm not making any plans as of yet. I'm going to look around, but you know, I like my job. It's not hard. You know, I like pretty much everybody there. It's just, I can't make a, a living working there. Um, there's almost no overtime. The pay is pretty low. It's it's a little bit above minimum wage, but and I'm just saying bottom line. I can't make a living there So I'm gonna be for, forced to look elsewhere and now having a car. I'll be able to you know expand My range instead of just going a walking distance The next month probably will be a little bit rough in transitions, but oh well just got to deal with it um, I do have a job. I'm going to look into coming up uh another installer job and yeah I, you know I'm, I'm sorry it's just I, i'm i'm excited i don't know what to really say um and i'm really hungry and that food smells really good I'm, it's almost done cooking uh can't get any better than a bratwurst well maybe you can't i don't know barbecue ribs are pretty damn good but you know i, I and if if that what I got what I'm gonna look at doesn't work out I mean I st I'm still able to travel I'm not stuck at this one job you know I'm able to actually get out and possibly make more money I'm not stuck right here 
and I mean that's the absolute greatest feeling right now I mean I'm still losing my my home right now and that sucks you know putting all my stuff in storage excuse me uh, but you know and and living you know I'm pretty much just gonna be renting a room and living in a room and you know it's it just sucks you know I'm not gonna have my home this place has been in my home for three years and now I gotta let it go but I can't pay my rent next for the next month uh, that was another positive <laughs> I, w I didn't I was able to get around and get enough money to pay rent which I mean I know a lot of people hate paying rent I mean I wish I didn't have paying rent but I'm excited I'm able to fill my last month of my contract and not void it and you know and get penalized and then red flagged because they do look at that in your credit if you didn't know about that they they, they look at see if you broke your lease and if you were evicted and all that and that it's not a good thing and i'm trying to build my credit right now you know back to where it was and right now is very difficult like it sucks because i was doing very well and then you know life happened i guess if that's what you want to call it and all that stuff happened and and it is what I guess I guess I'll, I'll have to figure out another way to continue but I am more than empty not to fall back down again oh I just I gotta figure something out I'm thinking about you know finding a new job and possibly even taking online courses because I tried the physical school and I tried it three times and it unfortunately you know, each time was a different reason, but it's just like the last time I actually tried to go in school while I was working. That was just, it was so much. It was too much. Um, so I'm going to try, possibly, you know, can't say soon, because I really don't know. I got to I got, got to get a job situation going before I can really do that. Um, try to go to school, you know, online and figure things out. Maybe get some kind of business management you know associates at least you know at least that'll get me in the f uh, foothold somewhere I don't know I'll, I'll do some research but yeah that's that's what's going on right now I'm, I'm ecstatic I wish I had time today to go out like I said the car was a little dirty and you know I'd love to vacuum it out and take it down to the car wash but right now it's not legal to drive in the road so it has to stay parked until I get plates on it hopefully that'll be next week um, but at least I can clean it up some, you know, clean it out on the inside and set all my radio stations. You know how important that is in life. <laughs> but I'm feeling good today and hopefully it'll continue. I'll just keep my head up and keep trying. Oh, excuse me, yeah. Where all these yawns are coming from. And uh, yeah, so if you like, go ahead and like. If you want to subscribe, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys later. Take care and bye-bye.